Hello and welcome back to Barossa Valley Crafts. Today we're going to have a go at making this 3D image using stamps and stencils and using Distress Oxides for the inks. So what I'm going to be using is, I've got this um, stencil of brickwork. The stamps will be Tango and Tilly from Lavinia. And I'm going to use the Bellflower Vine from Lavinia. And I have created a mask. So from a five and a half by four and three quarter inch card, I have cut out a four by three inch rectangle. So we're going to need both of those parts. So don't throw either of them out. The mat card is five and a half by five inches. The top layer, which is the part we're going to be doing all the work on, is five and a quarter by four and three quarter inches. And then the base card is ten and a half by five and three quarter inches. So that's folded in half. Okay, so let's see how we go. So to start with, this is the card we're going to, this is the top card. So this is the part we're going to be decorating. So getting some low tack tape, we're just going to place, we'll sit that one over the top of here. Roughly, you need to try and get it as close to being in the center as you can. And then we'll just pop a bit of low tack tape on the back of this. And we'll sit that in here. Okay. Take that bit out of the way. It's not quite straight, so let's straighten it up a bit. Here we go. So now getting the brick stencil, you don't have to necessarily use the same stencil I've used. You can use whatever you like. So we're going to pop that over the top. So making sure that it's covering all your card underneath. And try and get it fairly straight, otherwise you'll have wonky bricks. Now I'm going to use a Vintage Photos Distress Oxide. Uh, sorry, wrong one. We'll start off with this one. We're going to use the black soot distress oxide and we're going to do the bricks in that one so we just put some ink on the brush now it's probably a good idea if you can to tape this in place or if you've got one of the magnetic boards use a magnetic board so it doesn't move but now we're just going to go over where the bricks are make sure you go off the page a bit because you need it to cover all the card where it's not masked anyway it doesn't matter if it's different shades you just get different shade colored bricks which is fine and just do that so that should be okay here we go, and then we'll lift the mask off, and that's left us with that. So now, the next step, getting a ruler and a pencil. So because the background that I'm going to be doing will be with vintage photo, we need to get an idea where we are going to have the floor and the walls and the corners and things made. So marking about, from the corner, about an inch out, just put a little mark, and then draw a line from the wall to that little mark, and then another one going up from that little mark to the top of the wall. And then go from that little mark to the corner. Okay, so that's where our walls and corners will meet. Now using the other mask, 
Uh, where are we? So now this time we're going to pop this one over what we've just done. There we go. Just make sure you get it lined up exactly. Now using the vintage photo, I'm now going to go around these parts. Now, if you want to, you can add a moon mask in here. Um, let me see if I've got something I can use for a moon mask. Oh, here we go. So let's we'll put this one here to make that into a moon mask. Making sure this is all lined up. Oops, now I've mucked it up again. Here we go. So to start off with, we'll do around the moon. And then do the walls on the floor. Again, it doesn't have to be a nice smooth mix because it will just add to shadowing and effect by being different colours. Here we go. So if we remove those, it's a little bit bigger than the moon in the other one, but that's okay. So now where you've got your corners, just add a little bit more darkness to give it a bit of shading and it'll make it look more like corners. So you can, if you like, use your pencil to give it a bit more shading. Do as much or as little as you like. There we go. Okay, so now we're going to do the stamping. So I've got my stamp press here. And for the stamping, I'm going to be using... Um, Versifying Clear Nocturne. I like to use my stamp press because I'm so scared sometimes that stamping won't work. So let's get our little messes. So we've got Tango and Tilly here. Just work out where you'd like them. Put one there. And one there. And we'll just stamp them. So I'm using the Nocturne Versifying Clear. And I might redo that. And that's the beauty of the stamp press. You can stamp them again in exactly the same spot. better. Okay, pop them out of the way. Now I'm going to use the flower bell. So I'm going to put my center, uh, sorry, my outer mask back on because I don't want it to stamp on the brickwork. So again, Oh, very strong magnets. Oh, they even go through my fingers. <laughs> oh, try and separate them now. Oh, got it. Okay. So lining your mask up again. Okay, so we'll just put some magnets back on. You can use your acetate sheet to see where you want your flowers. So we'll have it about there. So again, I'm using um, Versifying Clear Nocturne. Okay, so we'll ink that up. Press 
Now, because it's got that mask there, you need to press fairly firmly to make sure it gets as close to the edge of the mask as it can. Yeah, that's all right. So I'll move that one away. And there's that. So in a moment, we'll put that um, onto the backing card. Just get this out of the way. Okay, so now... This will get stuck onto here. If you want to, you can go over the moon a little bit to dull it out or to give it a shadowy effect if you like, depending on what you like. Yeah, we we'll just put that on there. Try and make sure it's got an even border around all the edging. And then that onto the base card. And when you're doing this yourself, you can take your time and do it a little bit slower than I am. I'm just trying to do it quick so that we don't have too much time wasted watching it. So there's that one done. So if you compare it to that, there's a little bit of difference, but that's okay. Now, I'm going to try a round one. So for the round one, base card is 10 and a half by five and three quarter inches and it's been folded in the center. The matte card is five and a half by five inches because that one will go on there. And this is the top. which is five and a quarter by four and three quarter inches. And that should sit in that one. Okay, so this time we can use the same tape that we used last time because it's a good thing about that tape. It can be used a few times. So to start with, oh, and we've got a circle too. So I've cut a five and a quarter by four and three quarter piece of card and from that I've cut out a two and three quarter inch circle so we'll just pop the circle mask onto here so we can use that if you like to make sure you get it I've actually cut that the same size to get pretty good indication on where I want this to go so we'll pop that there and again we're going to get the brick stencil and pop that on here and using black soot again the oxide black soot we're going to create the bricks I'll so we'll just do that you don't have to do this color brick you could do any color that you like Even a, a red brick would look okay. Oops, move that a bit. Again, it's a lot better if you take the time to tape or magnet down the stencil to stop it from moving. It depends how fussy you want to be. Okay, so there's our bricks for that one. Now we shall move the mask. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to just cover a part of the circle and using the pencil, I'm going to draw a bit of a line around the circle. Like so. Yep, that should be okay. So now we need the other part to the um, die cut, the circle mask. And we'll line that up there. And now, again, using 
vintage photo. Oh, where's my brush? Here we go. We're just going to colour that little white part in there because that's where we'll have the mouse dancing. Again, do it as dark or as light as you like. There we go. And I'm just going to put a little bit of shading around there. Not a lot. Just want a little bit of colour through there. Now we're going to use one of these mini and mooch. Let's see. I might have this one. It can be dancing on the windowsill. So we need a stamp press. Actually, we're going to do it like that. Here we go. Here's it. Oops. Some trouble with the stamps are really new. They're a little bit sticky. That's okay. Okay, and we'll press him on there. So we might just do him again, just to make him a little bit darker. And there we go. And again, put the mask over this again. something different I might put some let's see how this would look we can have some no maybe not maybe I'll stick to the vine I might just pop some more of the florally vine you don't have to use these you can use any sort of stamp that you like This will do again for this one. So I'll ink that up and stamp it on. Oh, missed a bit. We haven't, oh, I haven't gone across far enough. That's okay, we can do it again. Easier if your masks are made from paper you don't get the gap there where it's got to try and stamp but that will do that's all right it's not too bad so there's that one so I'll just pop that out of the way and we'll put that on to here now I haven't added sentiments you can add whatever sentiment you like to suit Whatever occasion you're using the cards for. Okay. And then we'll put that one onto the base card. Is that one so there you go two reasonably quick cards to do they don't take a lot of work you don't need a lot of equipment and they're a bit of fun to make and the effect you can get from them is great you don't have to use a circle or a rectangle you can use a square um, you can use another like actual window shape you can do whatever you like but that's just some little ideas on what you can do and you can make your own from there so here's the other one I did earlier so thank you for joining me um, if you've liked it please give me the thumbs up and uh, please feel free to come and join us on my Facebook group card making for beginners and beyond or 
uh, Barossa Valley Crafts and you can share whatever you've made from uh, my tutorials or you can share whatever you've made in general. We like all crafts, not just paper crafts. Thank you very much and hope to see you soon. Bye.